write a program to determine the sum of the following series for a given value of n 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus so on to 1 by n what we are supposed to do here we need to take a value from n from the user and for the given value of n we need to print the nth harmonic number now whenever we talk about some input and output we need to include a studio.h library slash includes bracket studio.h int main with parenthesis we need to declare the variable n int n now we need to ask user to enter a value for n that can be done by printf please enter the value of n in order to take the value we need to use scanf scan percent d ambassad n bracket close semicolon now we require the sum of n terms 1 1 by 2 plus so on to 1 by n so let's declare the variable sum n was an integer but sum may not be an integer therefore data type float float sum now before we store the value of sum we need to initialize the sum to zero because later we will write as sum plus something and if we don't initialize the sum to zero it leads to an error because of the presence of garbage value in it as there are n terms our loop should run n times int i for i equal to 1 i less than equal to n i plus plus sum equal to sum plus 1 by i when i is equal to 1 sum equal to 0 sum is equal to 0 plus 1 equal to 1 when i is equal to 2 sum will comes to 1 plus 1 by 2 when i is equal to 3 sum is equal to 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 so on when i equal to n sum is equal to 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus so on to 1 by n we are done with the calculating part now we need to display the answer print of percent f for float is the sum of the given series slash n comma sum bracket closes semicolon here slash n represents a new line note i haven't put the braces or curly brackets after for because i have used a single statement after for and as we know from earlier videos in this case we need not put those braces let's compile this one it's an Ubuntu operating system and I am using GCC compiler whereas in Windows you might be using Turbo C++ or Dev C++ compiler. The compiler will check for any error in the program. Once compilation is successful you may run this program. Now if you run this program for input n equal to 2 answer equal to 1. Oops! When n equal to 2 the answer should be 1.5. Let's check it again. For n equal to 1 answer equal to 1. For n equal to 2 answer equal to 1. For n equal to 3 answer equal to 1. Something is wrong with the code. What's wrong in the code? Well we need to understand the way in which compiler divides. Integer by integer the answer will be an integer. Now if we look carefully we have stated sum equal to sum plus 1 by i where 1 is an integer and i is an integer. So 1 by i it always has an integral part 0. That's why all those previous outputs were ones now what to do float by int the answer can be in float make one as 1.0 int is converted to float that is sum is equal to sum plus 1.0 by i let's compile again n equal to 1 sum is 1 n equal to 2 sum is 1.5 yeah n equal to 3 sum is 1.833 n equal to 4 sum is 2.0833 and so on 